Hey everyone, this is Eric Turner. I play professionally for the Colorado Mammoth in the NLR. Eric Turner has the ball, shot, scores! And I'm here at United Sport and Cycle today to teach you about shooting, catching, cradling, and more. We're gonna talk about cradling the ball. We use this technique when we're trying to protect the ball from an opponent to secure it while we're being checked in the game. There's two positions that we're really gonna focus on. The first one is this low-handed position where the ball and my stick is like around my hips. This is something I would be doing if I was running up the floor and I didn't have a passing option. So I'm running hard and I'm just trying to keep this ball protected. In this position, I'm gonna have the ball nice and loose in my top hand, okay, so that this is a nice fluid motion. What we're thinking about here is almost doing like a bicep curl exercise, bringing this ball up and then releasing it back down. If my wrist is too stiff, it kind of gets blocked, this motion. So what I need to do is keep it nice and loose in my fingertips and then roll that ball up into a fist as I go up. The second cradling technique we're gonna talk about and probably the more important one is this triple threat position where the or my stick is up on my shoulder and I'm ready to make a pass, shoot the ball or maybe attack the net uh, trying to go score a goal. So from this position, the motion is very similar. I'm just twisting my top hand. My bottom hand doesn't even really need to be here. It's here for stabilization. But all I'm doing is creating this little turn with my top hand to make sure the ball stays secured. And I can even use this as a little bit of a fake to maybe throw off a defender or a goalie. If you have any questions regarding gear or other aspects of the sport, come on down to United Sport and Cycle and visit the experts here. You can either come in store or shop online at unitedsport.ca.